Gauteng took on Northerns in a tough unofficial semi-final 50 overs game on day four of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week. Gauteng opener Joshua Richards read the track and bowlers very quickly. The Sinstithians right-hander sent the ball to the boundary no less than 12 times in his innings, including a six. It was concentration and I also had to stick to my game plan because I know the one bowler can swing about ways and he's very skillful and the other one he's bowls quite a heavy ball so I just had to get in line with it and just wait for them to bowl in my uh, strengths. By contrast, the other Gauteng batsmen struggled against the Northern's bowling attack. Ntokozo Matlaba was bowled and caught by Northern's William Ladwaba with the Pretoria boys dispensing with danger men Vian Milder and Mitch van Buren. Mulder faced just two balls before being caught by Ivan Crick off the Dwaba for zero runs. And Mitch van Buren managed 18 runs off 32 balls before being caught by Ruan de Swart off the bowling of Nkosinatium Caesar. Mohamed Mayat steadied the Gauteng ship in the middle order with the King Edward batsman knocking three fours and a six, achieving a respectable 42 runs off 49 balls, but eventually being caught by Bayer Swanepoel off the bowling of Ruan de Swart. The rest of the Gauteng batting order collapsed quickly under the precision of the Northern's bowling and fielding, leaving a target of 227 for Northern's to chase down. The Northern's two openers struggled with a withering Gauteng bowling attack. Kenny Aldera managed two boundaries before being caught by Keegan Lumley or Vian Mulder's bowling after 35 balls, restricted to 14 runs. But Ivan Crick found his rhythm and kept the scoreboard moving. Here's the Gharsfontein left-hander hitting a boundary before he was run out after 21 runs off 25 balls. But Joshua van Heerden was the Northern's top scorer. The St Albans right-hander achieved 85 runs off 127 balls before being bowled and caught by Mitch van Buren. Ruan de Swart came in at number five and the Afi's left-hander quickly addressed the run rate, knocking 71 runs off just 64 balls, including four boundaries and three sixes, and carried his bat. Ntlantla Mofoken came in at number six and put the final nail in the Gauteng coffin with his 18 or 14 balls, and Northerns reaching the Gauteng target in the 46th over. In the second unofficial semi-final of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, Free State went into bat against Eastern Province, with De Villiers Ridgard smashing this boundary before being caught by Luto Pamla off Jimmy Shalter Douglas for 11 runs. Free State number two and three bats, Chris Schroeder and Ruan Fantonda, put in a fantastic partnership, with both players scoring more than a century. Here's Great College's Schroeder knocking a few of his boundaries and sixes, and here celebrating his century. And here's Fantonda, also from Grey College, doing the same thing in this very productive partnership. Well, the wicket was quite flat. I think it was easy to bat. There was a bit of movement in the beginning and some spin, but nothing much. It was quite easy to bat. EP is a good side, so it gives us momentum for tomorrow going into the final. So hopefully we can carry on playing well and just keep on going. Schroeder was eventually bowled by Campbell Devet for 134 or for 113 balls, but Fantonda carried his bat through, knocking a total of 133 not out or for 129 balls. Number four bat, Dylan Francis faced just four balls before being run out and Philip Fisser came in to finish the innings with Fantonda, knocking an impressive 53 of 32 balls to set a tough free state target of 353 runs. Eastern Province opened the batting with Matthew Brietzka and a corner number. Brietzka knocked two boundaries but was caught by Ruan Fantonda off Gerald Kutsia for 25 off 18 balls. Number was bowled by Kutsia for 13 runs. Chris Benjamin came in at number three and was the only solid foundation of the province batting performance. 
The St Andrews right-hander put in an impressive performance with these fours and sixes and here celebrating his century. Benjamin's final score was 105 off 115 balls, not out. Other Eastern Province batsmen didn't fare as well, with number four bat David Masterson caught by Dylan Francis off NJ Standard for two, Adrian Leibrandt being caught by Franklin Damons off Tandy Plank for 17, and Jade de Klerk going down to Samokelo Mohosi for 23, and Keenan Smith also bowled by Mohosi for 12. And Campbell Devet caught by PJ Fisser off Edward Davis for 13. The only Eastern Province batsman in the middle order to face more than 25 balls was Kingswood College right-hander Jimmy Sholto Douglas, who knocked seven boundaries to score a total of 52 off 53 balls before being caught by Franklin Damons off Tundi Plank. Eastern Province didn't reach the free state target and the local boys won by 55 runs.